Andre today. We're today we're jumping into The Bear, season two, episode seven. Ooh, I like that. I'm ready, just ready to jump right into this. The last episode was a life, liberty, a justice. Um, I couldn't believe all the appearances of uh, the special um, actor, actors and actresses that we had in the last episode, but I'm ready to continue. A lot of people said the last episode was their favorite, but they also said this episode was also their favorite. And I, as I did state before, that I did hear that these two episodes were really good. Really, really good. So I'm ready to jump into this. As I already stated, if you would like to see this in a full reaction, of course you can. For the second or third year, here on this platform that I promise you will copyright all oh mash, as well as my other platform, Patreon. So please sign up to one of those platforms to be able to see this in a full reaction. Now, if you'd like to support the channel for free, of course you also can do that. Hit the like button, share, and don't forget to comment down below. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the bear and find out exactly what the bear has got to give. So as you've been coaching over the years, what would you say are the most important uh, lessons? To get better, you change limits. And when you change limits, you're going to look bad and you're going to fail. When you are knocked back, you know, figure out why and then, then change. You're not going to learn with you just talking. And when you do talk, converse. I always wanted to be a part of a team. And obviously I wanted to lead that team. What an interesting life it is to be a leader. I hate crawfish. Cuz, cousin. Fuck you, cousin. Fuck you, cousin. Where is he? Oh, that's interesting. What? Back my staff, your forks. Change your shirt. Chef, are we done with the forks? First week is forks. If you get lucky, you make it to spoons. Can we chill out on the swearing too, How long please? am I supposed to be here A for? A week. I can do my time standing on one foot. So let me get this straight. He's punishing you by making you work at the best restaurant in the world. Where's the boss? Which one? Big oh. boss. Capo. Terry. Chef Terry's always watching. Chef Terry is always watching. Where are we? <laughs> I'm waking at the crack of dawn. It's rising like a discotheque. And now my bags are my favorite fish. Nobody knows, I guess. Every second count. Four weeks to open. Yo, Garrett, I've been doing this for nine hours. I think I know it's clean. I'm telling you that's not clean. That was not clean either. Please do them properly. Yo. Do you think this is below you or something? I'm 45 years old polishing forks. No one is asking you to be here. I don't think anybody remembers your name. You really drink this cooler, though? Yeah, I do. What? Because I love this, Richie. It's retained three stars because we have a waiting list that's long. 5,000 people waiting at any given moment long. They get to spend their time and their money here. I'm sorry, bro, but we need to have some forks without streaks in them. I just need you to respect me. I need you to respect the staff. I need you to respect the diners. And I need you to respect yourself. I can do respect. Lovely. I'll see you inside. <laughs> POMs include Kimberly Fox, District Attorney of the City of Chicago. We have more Assistant Coach Person. They're both Elmhurst High School teachers, and according to Jill's Instagram, it's always been her dream to dine at a three-star restaurant. Guys, we're not going to let these people spend a dollar. Do not drop a check. I want to blow their fucking minds. I want to clarify that it's not so much the smudge, but rather the fact that no one is taking responsibility for the smudge. Does anyone want to talk any more about the smudge? Per Chef Terry, the Duck Roulade will now be served with a uh, Tonker Great production instead of the cherry. We're cooking smudge 20 times in the last two days, but we have to reset the plate with the smudge because Persimmon Glaze was smudged. Just 45 seconds. 47 seconds. 47 seconds. Now, if you cost us that kind of time, you sure shit better run up to it. Fuck you, Garrett! Yes, Chef. Fuck me. No. No. 
Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, how are you? What's going on? Is Eva okay? No, she's great. She's totally great. I got those Taylor Swift ticks. You did? Yeah. This is incredible. Actually, I got three if you want to come. Yeah. I know you're really busy, so I wanted to just tell you something. Um, and it's a little bit hard to say. I just want you to hear it from me. She's um, getting married. Uh, Frank proposed to me. What'd you say? Yes. I said yes. But nothing's gonna change between us. That's awesome. And I love you. I was never kids that I loved you in the train past. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know. No check tonight. Thank you so much for dining with us. That was really sad. Trailer day. Get changed. No more forks. No more forks. <laughs> Start with tables 10, 20, 30, 40, so forth. All the servers take temperatures of the room and communicate. How do they do that if they can't speak? This is our hamachi basil shell. Oh, you still colors me. Orange is a dietary restriction, yellow is out of town, green is a VIP, and blue means kitchen floor. How do you know that? Know what? How about the people eating? We have a designated staff member that researches each guest. The minute somebody no shows or cancels, we pull somebody up. How do they get here in the first? Oh, we'll send a bar. How do you do this all day? I need you to stand in that corner and get the fuck out of my way for one minute. Destination. <laughs> 12, walking out. Let's pick it up. Every second counts. Three, going to 21. Every night you make somebody's day. Huh? You ask me how I can do this, and that's how I can do this. Three, going to 21. Uh, one minute, table desserts, please. 19, go. 20, go. Please have a birthday on 24. Pick up a cake, candle, and two balloons, please. 305, hands, please. Oh, yeah, sure. Garrett's hands, please. We have the hibiscus tea surrounded by a series of small bites and to finish it off, the hibiscus clam. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I just dive in. Chef Terry's done it again. Relax. Chef. I was bummed that she was leaving Chicago without getting a chance to try deep dish. Got it. Thank you. Prize on nine. What's the surprise? Big wild guess. Pick up the Richard. Behind Chef. Right into four more canapé. That six, you're going on two by four. Chef. Faster, please. Play around. Yes, sir. 12, walking out. Three, going to 21. 33, yes, go. Micro basil. Yes, sir. Micro basil. Fuck yes. Language. Pick up where you need. Back, bring it to the table. Go get him, Richie. Oh, my God. Why am I so emotional with this man? I couldn't live with myself. If I let this beautiful family leave Chicago, deep dish. Oh, no. oh you did oh not hear me. <laughs> Manja, baby. Good. That old fashioned's not gonna drink itself. You guys want some Bacardi and Diet? A little B&D, <laughs> should I send some over? <laughs> Three seconds. Uh, apple cider gets streaked. Apple cider gets streaked. That's my freaking boy right there. So, don't take the ribbon up. That's an Alamar. Ooh, yeah, Drew. What? For tonight's specials. We don't have specials. We do have our supplements, including tonight's caviar pairing. How old are you? It's an HR violation. You're not supposed to Fuck ask. Fuck off, me. Garrett. How old are you? I'm 30, dude. Oh, right like, on the pots no, and pans? No, I don't like to cook. Well, why do you work at a restaurant? A couple years ago, I had a drinking problem. And I got sober. I just like being able to serve other people now. You know? Taking care of people at the highest level was like working at a hospital. I'm just saying, I think that's why restaurants and hospitals use the same word. Hospitality. Uh, I wanted to say thanks for a fun week, man. It was dope. Thank you, my man. It's fun. Fuck, man. I'm I just getting the hang of it. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. If something opens up, you know. Richie, that'd be awesome. But you know it's not my call. I got another job anyway. I am needed elsewhere. We failed the fire suppression test. Another one, dude? Yeah. Yeah, another one. We have one more shot. <laughs> just be careful. It's okay. bad, cousin. What do you need? What do I need? Just calling to tell you I'm done. Yes, yes. No, 
That's right. How'd that go? Bro, you were going to fuck yourself. Yo, I know you sent me there to get rid of me. What? To get rid of you? Fact, fact, fact. I fucking told you, please. You sent me there to fucking humiliate me, you fucking jack off. Make me look like a fucking jack off. You're the fucking jack off. Right! That is stop it! Stop it! Just stop. Yeah, I'll talk Take to you. Break. I actually think I over staff reviews do you want to observe uh thanks i gotta finish this last man we loved having you here thanks for everything thanks shift jess you know where the polish is the bullshit keeps moving try that drawer over there what are you making i'm just peeling mushrooms for the lamb de tournel it's just a nice little fun detail so when the diners see it they know that someone spent a lot of time on their dish knife 1300 Grab the end and just peel. 1300, huh? Yeah. Do you see Oh. That did. That did. Same. A lot of standards. Yeah. Turns out I like standards. <sighs> I know Carmen. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry that he pulled a favor. Not at all. I don't do favors. Ooh. Can I do another one? Yes, please do. Uh, so why do you do this? <laughs> I do it for a living. No, but like, don't you have stodges that do this shit? Respect. Feels attached. I think time spent doing this is time well spent. Oh, I, st uh, I tried to open a giant place years ago. I tried to move too fast, couldn't get the place open, and the market crashed, and I got killed. So how did this place happen? I oh, know that was on my my 38th birthday. Out walking all night, unemployed, angry, depressed, and it was raining. And I was walking through Lincoln Park, my phone had died, and I just stood there and stared, and the eventually the sun came up, and it turns out I was right there. I saw the sign. It was an actual sign. It was a restaurant for lease sign. Never too late kind of thing. Yeah, never too late to start over. Um, well, my dad had died the summer before, an only child. My mum sold the house and put it in here. My best friend's mom was, was like my mom. Yeah. What about your dad? Uh, yeah. It's funny, I learned the most about him when I was packing up his house. Full of all these details, like the palm trees he'd seen or Escargo he tried, or this time the ocean looked purple. Don't forget this moment, or don't forget this interesting, strange detail. Hundreds of adventures. Sign each one off the same way every time. Chef? Yes, Chef. I know upstairs. Oh. He believes in you, you know. What makes you say that? He told me. Chef, uh, you, you never said what he signed off with. What's your dad? Every second counts. Well, well. <laughs> Can we get a standing ovation, please? <laughs> um, that was totally awesome. There we go. <laughs> I was, I was like, where's the button? Where's my cue? That was awesome. Thank you. Took you a while. Um, but anyways, so <laughs> I'm now done. I'm done making an, a, a scene. Um, I have this new button thing and I'm trying to learn it. I'm trying to get these uh, animations going with the, the sound effects, I should say. Um, let's talk about the show because that's what you guys wanted. Um, this episode beat every single episode I've ever seen of this show. And the emotional journey to be with Cousin I don't understand how this, I don't wanna, I don't, I, that's a lie. I'll say this episode was stronger than the last episode and the last episode was very strong. I enjoy, I don't wanna say the whole seasons, of both seasons, I really can't remember, but I do know there were some powerful moments in season one. This episode though, although last episode was amazing, I feel like because last episode was so fast paced and it was just an hour of just like, bam! In, in, and trying to decipher everything that I was seeing. This episode was fast paced, but also took its time in a weird effing way for me to explain that to somebody. Um, and just literally following him. First off, Cousin was, was never my favorite character, but after this episode, he has easily became one of my top four favorite characters. <laughs> what a random number. He's became my, one of my top four favorite characters of this show. Um, you can see in the beginning, 
of this episode, how Cousin, like, the alarm, and they're showing you, like, he's kind of disheveled, um, and then he was kind of complaining. He was Cousin. He was Cousin from we, what we know on season one. Um, woe is me type of person. And he's had a lot of uh, trials and tribulations in his life. That maybe um, made him the way he is, or maybe that's just who he is. Right, so he's he he comes off, you know, vulgar, and he's like, he's humorous, but he's always fucking shit up, like, and he's never really getting things done. And as I said, he's always a victim. He's always a victim in some type of story or in somebody's story. But in this episode, from him transitioning from that moment, once that guy, I guess Garrett, if you want to call him a chef, although he said he's not a chef, um, but I guess it's a respect thing. He, when uh, Chef Garrett said what he said to him outside, that changed him. I also don't remember um, Bear ever saying, Carmi ever telling him to go here. I don't remember this, um, but you know, everything's a blur at this moment. He probably didn't say in the last episode, obviously. He probably said it in episode, the previous episode of that. So, us jumping here, also, we've heard him say in previous episodes he hates Taylor Swift, right? He said it, I think he said it um, at, to his daughter in that scene. And then when he started getting himself together and enjoying himself here, he, he saw him saying that, uh, the Taylor Swift song, and that was amazing. I think what changed him was him realizing what he said. He was 45 years old, he's cleaning forks. And then once his ex called him, although he still has the wedding ring on, as you can see from the camera showing you that he's still holding on to hope with that wedding ring. But now that his girlfriend, I mean ex-girlfriend, is now engaged, that broke my fucking heart. It broke my heart in 10 million pieces because honestly, I've been there. <laughs> and when I start breaking down crying is because I understand that emotion. Not only do I understand it, but the acting is so well in this show that they make you understand it. And it's it's very subtle. I feel like I feel like for people who I feel like people who, who said they really like this episode probably relate to this character a hundred percent and understand either because they were in this position in some type of frame in some type of aspect either they felt like they weren't doing uh what they were they maybe they didn't feel like they were leaving, living up to their potential or there is no potential for them um maybe they felt down and out before which i feel like the vast majority of us have right or maybe dealing with also trying to get back your ex, trying to get your life together, and then your ex moves on and is moving on, and at least she still loves him, you know? I feel like she loves him. The way, just that glimpse that we had in the last episode and to here, I feel like she does love him, like overall, more than just like a friend. There's a bond there, obviously. When you have a kid with somebody, I feel like that bond could never really go away, even if you hate them. Um, but, you know, I, th I think that's what it is, and because people can relate to this character for multiple reasons that's why a lot of people really do like this episode i relate to him i relate to, i relate to him i think i relate to i relate to a lot of these characters and maybe that's why i really like this show the characters really just, just stand out to me and cousin reminds me of that right so i'll be honest there's been so many times listen i'm in the acting world right the laziness that I have to go out and to do auditions, to sign up to things, and the um, nervousness I do have to meet other people and to network, and me pro prolonging, me even creating a YouTube channel when I was technically, I should have created it a long, long time ago and started doing uh, content, um, but I didn't, you know, because, you know, I'm, I'm annoying. And as soon as my aunt died, that's when I wanted to jump up on it. And now I kind of regret it. And I'm like, damn, why didn't I do YouTube back then and experience that with my aunt before she passed away? Then we have um, that. So there's a lot of like situations where Carmen and I've always, I've also felt at times so depressed because listen, I feel like I feel like the vast majority of us suffer from some type of or form of uh, depression, it does happen. Um, it will come knocking on your door when you least expect it. And I felt like I've been there. And Car and um, 
whatever the fuck his name is, cousin, you can see that. He gets really low when he called uh, Carmi and he started saying, like, you sent me here to make a fool of me. Like, he's, and he's in the car and you can see him, he zones off. He's depressed. He's suffering from depression. And you can see, or at least this is how I perceive it. I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not diagnosing nobody. But that's what it comes off for me. And maybe because I can relate to that circumstance in life where I feel like I'm down and out and I'm depressed and that, and I start blaming everybody else but myself um and then drinking doesn't he i don't remember i don't i don't think he drinks he does drugs or he, we've seen him in a couple instances where he did drugs right because that's what carmy's brother did drugs as well so i don't know there's that so the emotional aspects of this it really broke my heart but it was good to see that hopefully maybe after this episode he gets much better moving forward and the lady who plays terry i know her and i don't know where i know her from i don't know if and they gave you a a big pause in it to make us be like you know this lady right you know her right and i'm over here like oh, i think so um <laughs> no, she looks familiar but um i don't know if she's an i think she's an actress I'm not positive. She's probably an actress, right? She's not a real chef. By the way, because uh, people always, uh, I've seen this like five times. I saw that you guys did say that Fock, Fock is an actual chef. I just want to make that clear because I did see it and I feel like I meant to like reply to people and then I don't know what happened. Maybe I fell asleep. Maybe I hit the hard button. I have no idea what I did. Um, I, and one more side note and then we're jumping back into the show. Before when I was a real small YouTuber. I'm still a small YouTuber, but as my platform grows, I always used to say when I was smaller though, I was like, why don't these content creators ever write back to people who comment and like just take two seconds to write back? It gets so overwhelming and I'm still a small YouTuber, but as I'm growing and like, you know, the comments are commenting, which I love. Um, it's just so hard and then I mean to like write back to somebody and then I go off and do something else and then I lose the comment because there's other comments and then so so if I don't reply back to y'all it's not me being shady I just actually I think forgot so you guys know I have ADD so maybe I saw a butterfly <laughs> always a butterfly but um back to the show also I just want to let you guys know I don't know about you but Carmi is <laughs> Listen, I have most of you guys on my team with not liking Claire, but uh, uh Carmi, me and Carmi, I don't know. I'm just not liking his personality, y'all. I, I, I see, I see that he's trying to help people, but I feel like his emotional connection to people, maybe because that's his, that's the type of character he is. But like, cousin's telling you how he feels, and I understand you're busy because Fact wants to electrocute himself. But did you not call back, like? Or did you call back and we just didn't get that scene? Um, cause let me let me let you guys know. One thing I know with two things for certain. Um, <laughs> cause that's the type of boy I am. But um, <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, somebody is about to take off this uh, reaction. They'll be like, um, there's gunshots. But anyways, I really did enjoy this episode. Once again, if I give it higher than a 10, I completely would. It really was everything. I loved, 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 loved it. And I loved it more than any episode I've seen, I'll just say of this season. Last episode was a key to the gags of the lemons of the squeezes of all the damn juices. But this was what brought the lemons that made the damn juice for me to squeeze in the last episode. Now, if you com got completely lost of what I just said, well, we're on the same page. But I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Once again, I'm doing a Smash or Pass movie. It will be The Mask 2024. And in this movie reaction, I will be doing a, a gift of giveaway, whatever it is, membership thing. It's the first time I'll ever be doing it. Hopefully I do it right. But it will be gifted to people who are most interactive with the platform. That means liking, sharing, commenting, doing all those good, fun things. So please like, share, and comment. 
But the more you guys like, share, and comment, check out the other videos and interact with the platform, the YouTube and the YouTube bots will be able to gift you guys memberships. Now, the membership, I believe, is for one month, and I also believe it is the first tier, but I do have a lot of content. I have over 2,000 videos on this platform, and I believe there's a lot of links in the community section on for the members, as well as me doing exclusive content, which is Bodyguard and what we do in the shadows. So you'll be able to check out all those reactions, and maybe after the month of you seeing a of the content that I do drop and the full reactions. If you do like it, maybe you'll sign up and be part of either Patreon or on the YouTube side again side of things. So once again, thank you guys so much for being here. Please check out my store. You guys can see the pictures down below of this video. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. And I think I'm off of this. I'll see you guys on next time with more The Bear.